we got types of women you shouldn't date by Astro Dior. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Women, the most complicated creatures God decided to create. And as we transition into the... If it's one thing Dior gonna have in his video, bro, it's that God dang saxophone beat, bro. I can't get mad at the branding. I can't get mad at the branding. Big 2025, one thing is for certain. These hoes awesome. getting crazier and crazier by the day. For every one good woman, there are three succubus, gold digging, attention needing demons. Ready to swindle you quicker than Diddy at a freak off. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's Hey, Michael Jordan didn't say nothing about no dating party. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but with that being said, allow me to tell you about types of women you should stay away from. First, talk to me. Freak. Every male loves a good freak. Hot and ready like one of them weak ass little Caesars people. Am I the only one that like, I'm not going to lie. The second I find out you're like that, it don't do nothing for me, bro. I've never experienced one. I've never experienced the, what are they called? Bops. I'm old. Wow. But I've never experienced one and I don't want to. Like I don't I don't something about that just isn't enticing to me. Maybe maybe I'm tripping, but like I don't know. This is an obvious hell no to me. Oh, that's a curse. Pizzas. There's a level of freak that comes from a different dimension. Type of freak that loves penetration more than they love their selves. Something like I'm good. Things just have to be off limits. There's this girl that me and my partners grew up with. Since the sandbox, she's always been a little bit weird. Something just a little bit off. I always saw it as her always seeking attention. I'm talking about I knew this girl since fifth grade. We was outside playing tag and shit. But as we all know, when you get older, those hormones start getting active. And I don't know if it was the lack of father figure in her household or maybe being exposed to too much freaky shit. But when when we got to high school that sweet little girl wasn't so sweet anymore she turned into a fucker she just got a little active quicker than the rest of us she ended up getting into a relationship with this one dude that we knew and since we knew him every now and then he would come around telling us the freaky ass shit that they was doing talking about hitting her in her mom's bed upside down off if i work 40 hours a week and come home after a long shift to my child daughter or son smashing in my bed whatever they just conceptualize is getting aborted all three of them going down no cap no cap i'm leaving that bit with a uav that's three bodies in a row bro no everyone in that bed is getting a hadouken bro off the hood of a car that was until one day he came to us and said that their freaky asses had broke up he was low-key kind of heard about it the matter of a week this girl bro when you <sighs> Yeah, when you break up with someone who's like into stuff like that, that be hitting because you like, dang, I know they doing it with someone else, bro. Like, yeah, don't want to kick back that out. Me. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I wouldn't want to talk to a freak because, like, I'm knowing you're free. No, nope, that would make me sick. Career. Let's one of my close partners know about it. He tells him to invite everybody he wants to invite. So of course he hit me up, told me to slide. I wasn't even gonna fix my mouth to ask my mom if I could go because she was very strict. So I let him know it wasn't gonna happen. Left it alone, didn't think about it. That was until I got a call at 3 a.m. Bro, that invited me to the spot, answered the phone, immediately said, bro, I just ran a train. Imagine that being the first thing you hear as soon as you wake up. I'm like, what, who? Bro, I listed off seven niggas, then told me it was yeah. all on the girl that we grew up with. Then decided to mention that he went second for some reason i said bro what type of crustacean bottom feeder shit did you just commit dior the type to want to be last bro he, he the type to be like all right i'm gonna let everyone else hit first so i can like show her that i'm like like that you know what i'm saying dior like a number nine uh, i can't curse bro not being able to curse ruins the joke bro like dior a number nine ad dude Actually, that wasn't that bad. Man. And I'm just going back and forth with him about how that's egregious work. But when we shift our perspective from my dirty ass partner to the girl that allowed this, circles back to her freak nature. It made me realize that freaking off was like a drug. She just kept chasing these extreme highs. One thing kept becoming not enough. Second, the one that plays hard to get. Paying hard to get is a method that you use to try and make somebody of the opposite sex like you more. Maybe this is a hot take, but I feel like in this day and age, that hard to get shit is out the window. I feel like there's a fine- Everyone has way too many options. Options. I'm between having game and straight up just playing hard to get. I feel like you should never chase. If she's not going to reciprocate the same energy, show you that she like you as well, don't be afraid to move on with your life. A while back, my partner called me to run a two-man. As a single person, I would never leave my nigga high and dry. She looked like Ray Charles <laughs> and my partner need me to take one for the team. I'm God! That's not taking one for the team. That's taking one for his entire generation, bro. Holy, I know some Jamaicans that would dog her though, I'm not gonna lie.
I'm gonna do that for him. So we pulled up to the spot and it was basically like this little cul-de-sac. Mind you, I haven't seen what the girls look like. My mindset wasn't even that I was gonna be smashing nothing, hitting nothing that night. I was just gonna help be a vibe, smoke something, and chill. When we come in contact with the girls, one of them is this white girl and the other is this Hispanic chick. I guess my dog was on coon activity because he went straight for the white girl. We all chopping it up hey, with each other. Yo. Them two walk off. I'm like, damn, this nigga must be about to make something happen. I play my role. I play my position. And me and the girl kicking it. She said, let's hop in the whip. I start getting in the front seat. Shorty opened the back door of her own vehicle. Talking about come back here with me. Now I'm rubbing my hands together. I'm getting excited. Because like I said, I wasn't expecting to get no ass tonight. Now things were looking up for me. And she looked pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We chopping it up. We're cooling. Really just talking about life and what we want our futures to look like. She starts painting this picture of a life that doesn't equate to the type of girl to allow me to hit her in the back seat off the first link if we in the back seat of your car and you talking about a white picket fence with seven kids i don't believe you i don't believe you i no i'm not thinking white i'm not thinking chevy suburban and two-story house i'm thinking casting couch you're lying to me you're running game. Let alone the first time me meeting her. But that's when I sit back and realize, oh, this isn't happening. That's until she leaned in and start kissing my neck. One thing about me I just want to know, I'll only kiss a girl that I really genuinely like. Other than that, I'm not trying to do that. But I'm not going to lie, she did make her way up to my face and start kissing me. But we going at it, she starts stroking me while my pants are on. Once she do that, I'm like, it's time. I then reach to unbutton her pants. My nigga, as soon as I touch her pants, please don't tell me. She going to jump back and be like, stop. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going. Okay. Years ago, as a child, my mother taught me no means no. When I heard that stop and she jumped back, I went from long and hard to micro genitalia. Years and years <laughs> of prison flashed before my eyes. I said, whoa, whoa, my bad. She starts talking, but I'm so fucked up. That shit might as well have been background noise in a different language. I had to get on my phone, text my man, say, hey, bro, when you coming back? As soon as they're in the line of sight, I hop out the whip. I guess this was her way of playing hard to get. That is so crazy, because it's like... You want me to be a weirdo? If you not only say no, if you say no and jump, we are not up. What? What? Because as soon as I got out the whip, this hoe jumped out of the car, ran in front of me, started kissing me again, pulling my pants down, saying, come back in the car, let's do it, and some more shit. I said, you must be out your mind. It was Marshawn Lynch stiff arming this hoe. I'm like, watch out, watch out, watch out. She's giving me your number. I'm like, watch out, watch out. We hop in the whip and get loose. Third hood women. And when I say hood women, I mean women that still live in the hood. I have no issue with hood women, ghetto women. If you can handle that and you can deal with that, more power to you, cool. I ain't gonna lie, they be some of the coolest, realest, down to earth hold you down tight bro trauma like yeah like you could trauma like no bro women with trauma have the best conversations fact but women is really crazy but i feel like it's only cool if you rock them with the ones that don't live in the hood no more are now exposed to a better lifestyle they got a good job good things going on they just happen to be from the hood my first year of college i met these girls every now and then they would call me to come to their crib i was selling gas at the time so i rock with them so i'll smoke them out they cook for me at the house and jump there's probably like four or five of them at a time too one day the girl that i was hitting did something i just did not like i couldn't get behind as transparent as i'm being i gotta withhold that information so i begin to distance myself i don't pull up to the table that they be talking at calling me i don't answer not answering they text so they saw the energy i was bringing l gatekeep it turned from smiles and haze to then me mugging me i wasn't stunting these women i'm just letting it run i then proceed to start talking to another woman her and i are really feeling each other me and the girl were in the parking lot of this one food spot we have a little moment before i pull off kind of start kissing making out i just hear a beat on my window boom 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 i look to the left it's one of the girls not the one i was hitting but one of her cousins staring at me she just go like this i'm looking like I tell the girl I'm with, I'm like, hold on real quick. I walk up to that car like, what are y'all on? She said, you moving kind of fast, ain't you? I said, man, y'all watch out. This wasn't our last altercation. Me and the girl that I started messing with, we pull up to another food spot. I don't know what it is. There's no way he runs into another one. There's no way he runs into another one. About them catching me at these places. We go in, we eat and have a good meal. I walk out. She goes to her car. I go to mine. Help in my seat, put my car in reverse. And that bitch not going back. Hop out the whip and see there's... Dang! I just broke my mouse. Hey, yo, Dior, bro. Run me that. Yo, yo, let me hold a dollar, bro. I just broke my mouse watching your video, and I know your AdSense is hitting. Let me, let me hold a dollar, bro. I can't find the back of my mouse. There's two big-ass knife marks. Dang! I had just bought these hoes, by the way. I see this and just start laughing. I get on the phone, start blowing these hoes up, texting them, y'all stop fucking playing with me, da da da. This woman gonna say, I don't know what you're talking about. And that was the last. The 
I don't the thing I don't even think I would reach out because I think them dismissing it would upset me more. They we ever spoke. Fourth an insecure woman. Out of all the ones that I've mentioned so far, this has to be the most draining of them all. This shit is so sickening. You could be the most loyal nigga in the world. She's so insecure, damn near make you want to cheat. It's like she made- I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the only people who overtly care about cheating are cheaters. I don't feel like no person that's not cheating is gonna be like, who you texting? Who you with? That, unless you give them an overt reason to not trust you. Unless you give them an overt reason to not trust you, that's different. But if you're being loyal and you're being obviously loyal and your girl is still tripping, I'm not gonna lie, that raises red flags in my head at least. Manifested the cheat. I remember I was dating this girl. Manifested was so the cheat. Insecure. She was on my ass. I'm talking about constantly looking through my phone, not finding nothing. Every single night, this girl would get on FaceTime and be upset if we got up in the morning and somehow the phone disconnected, saying that I hung up to fuck around. I couldn't even go hoop at the gym. All my feelings, y'all know them runs can be long. Be in there hooping for hours. I go look at my phone. She talking about why haven't you updated me? Hooping don't take that long. Bro, it was so draining. I remember my female cousin followed me on Instagram. She started pressing me like, who is that? She said, I ain't never met her. She too. We do not live in Alabama. Love to be your cousin. It's not every. <laughs> well Dior, well Dior, well Dior. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When I think about your cousins, I definitely think this and not this. I understand that. I understand that. Everybody in my mother family light skin. It got so bad that I genuinely <laughs> did not find her attractive anymore. Like so bad that I remember she was trying to give me head and I could not get up. I was so sick of this woman. But where I messed up, I didn't make it no better. I should have just bossed up and hurt her feelings. Went to her and said, look, I don't think we can be together anymore. And uh, just you did. let it last. You let it last. Like you, you try to ride it up. Her crying and doing all of that. Instead, I did the bad guy method. I cheated. When we graduated high school, she went off to college in Georgia. I stayed in Texas. And if she was insecure then, this made her even more. I don't know why I didn't have it in me just to call it off. I just started being reckless, doing whatever that I wanted to do with whatever girl I wanted to do it with. To the point where it got so close to home that a woman came to her as a woman, said, is this your nigga? And from there it went downhill. There's a few types. He got hit with a hey girly text. Dang, bro. Dang, bro. So women that I've left out. I'm a real yapaholic. This recording's already over an hour long. So if y'all need a- How do you get eight minutes from an hour long yap? Bro, you had 52 minutes of filler? God dang. Part two of this video, let me know. But until then, y'all stay blessed. Like the video, sub up, comment up, and tell me about y'all's experience in the comments. But with that being said, I'm going ADD, let do it. Yeah, yeah. W video by my dog Dior, you already knowing. Uh, curse one time, so let's do these three push ups. Alright, y'all. That was my reaction to Types of Women You Shouldn't Date by Ashley Dior. Hope you guys liked it. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Be sure to check out his channel. He makes really good videos. Peace.